In this video, we learn how to mark and shade plains on the map of India. Let's begin with the Gangetic Plain. Now, as the name suggests, this is the plain of the river Ganga, Gangetic for river Ganga and its tributaries. Now, where is river Ganga? River Ganga is over here, the second river. This is river Yamuna, which is a tributary of the Ganga River. So, here is the river Ganga. It's coming down, moves forward and enters into Bangladesh over here from here and then meets Brahmaputra river which is coming from here and then both of them fall into the Bay of Bengal here right okay so this is the river Ganga and these are its various tributaries both right bank and left bank tributaries so the plain region of Ganga and its tributaries is called the Gangetic plain so children if you are asked to mark the Gangetic Plain, then what will you do? You are going to extend the southern boundary of Nepal. This is the country of Nepal. I hope you all know that. So this is the boundary of Nepal. Right? And this is the country of Nepal over here. So we are going to take, we are going to extend the southern boundary of Nepal towards the northwest like this. Now, because this is the plain of the Ganga River, so we are going to take it till the last tributary of the River Ganga, which is Yamuna over here. And then from there, we are going to turn it down. And we'll move along the Yamuna River like this. We'll leave a little space. And then we are going to move on along. We'll keep the line parallel to the River Ganga. So here it's going to go like that and then when it reaches this part, it is going to come down and we'll take the line and join it over here, right? So this is the Gangetic Plain. Now we are going to shade it. You can shade it with a pencil or planes are shaded with color green. So you can use a green pencil color to shade the Plane, right so you can shade it like this and with the help of an arrow you can label it Gangetic plane now children there's a twist in this if you are asked to mark the Indo Gangetic plane that means the plane of the rivers Indus and Ganga what will you do in that case you're going to extend this boundary further northwest till the Till where the Satlaj River crosses or moves out of India, crosses the boundary of India and Pakistan. So till there you are going to move it, extend it and also this part instead of, instead of moving down like this, we will take this boundary further northwards or towards the northwest like this and join the western boundary of India. We'll rub this, this boundary will not be there and we'll shade the entire portion. So this, this plus this is the Indo-Gangetic plain, right? See these, this is the river Indus and these are its tributaries. So this is the plain of the Indus river and this is the plain of the Ganga river. So both combined make the Indo-Gangetic plain, right? Now let's come to the coastal plains. You can see coastal plains are those plains which are located on the coast on the coast of the country in the coastal areas. So we have three coastal plains on the western coast and two coastal plains on the eastern coast. Let's begin with the eastern coast. Now here you can see that we have two coastal plains, the northern Sirkas and the Koromandel coast. You can see that both begin with C. Now I'm telling you this in order to remember so that you may remember. These are small tips that you can use to remember. So both of them they begin with the letter C. Now which one to uh, mark over here? Obviously the northern one would come in the north and the simpler one would come down. So the northern circas would be to the north of the Kurumandal coast. Now, how will you mark this? See, these are the deltas of the 
peninsular rivers this is the delta of the mahanadi this is the delta of the godavari this is the delta of the krishna river and this is the delta of the kaveri river now it is very easy to mark these coastal plains for marking the northern sarkars you are going to mark between the delta of the river mahanadi and the delta of the river godavari so you're going to mark it like this again you can use a pencil the way i have done remember you have to mark it near the coast because it's a coastal plain so it has to be like this you can also use a green pencil color to mark this then we move to the coromandel coast so this is the southeastern coast of india you will mark this from the delta of the krishna river to the delta of the kaveri river like this now children it is a rule while marking places on the map you need to mark 3/4 of the feature because it is impossible to mark the feature exactly as it is so we have to mark 3/4 of the feature neither less than that if it is more it should not be more than the original feature which becomes very difficult so keep the feature to be 3/4 right now let's come to the western coast of india so as you can see in the north we have the konkan coast then we in the middle we have the kanara coast and in the south we have the malabar coast how to remember the names k k m now this coincides with the gulfs on the western side or on the western coast of india the gulf of kutch the gulf of khambat and the gulf of mannar so k for kutch k for khambat and m for mannar k k m similarly k k m konkan kanara malabar now in hindi if we uh, twist this name kanara to kinara in hindi kinara means edges so you can see kinara is in the middle and on one of its side or one of its end or kinara we have the konkan coast and on the southern kinara of this coast we have the malabar coast so this way you can remember now how to mark them well you can see there are dents on the western coast you can see there is a small hollow over here and also there is a small dent slight hollow or dent over here now these dents will help us to mark these coasts see where we'll begin with the kanara coast now you can see this dent over here from where it starts moving inside inwards we'll make a line and remember you have to rub this line off after marking the coasts so we'll make a small line over here and then again a line over here from where it moves inside towards the inside or you can see it's right in front of the river kaveri right so you're going to make a line over here and then you are going to make the mark the coast so from this side, this end till here we have the kanara coast now on the northern side beyond this line till here till where mumbai is a little above that we'll mark the konkan coast and then down here we are going to mark from here till here that means we will follow the dent and we will make a parallel line to the dent which is the malabar coast i hope children you are going to understand marking these plains very nicely with the help of this video